Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is long awaited. We're gonna be giving you guys the newest leak for the brand new update that's gonna be coming out hopefully very, very soon. We just got steampunk sewers and a Halloween update all within the last two weeks, which has absolutely been crazy, but I got a little present over on my birthday and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So we're just gonna jump straight into the video for today. We all know that the development team has been working very, very hard to get a lot of things out very, very fast. So you guys saw Steampunk Sewers just recently came out as well as we got a Halloween update with nine new limited cosmetics. If you want to learn how to get those cosmetics, just go over onto my how to get free cosmetics video just a few days ago, as well as I also did a major loadout video if you guys want to see that as well. But today we're going to be talking about the brand new leak. Obviously, it's not so new it did happen on my birthday because I was lucky enough to have all of the development team over on my stream on my birthday if you didn't know when it was it was on October 17th and I did a birthday stream that day and I was super lucky to have Vinny, Joey, that guy, Drew, Blacksmith, they all came into my stream to say hello and as a little birthday present they actually gave me one of the brand newest leaks for free when we hit a certain amount of viewers on my stream which is absolutely crazy because I didn't think that would happen. Obviously, we have seen a lot of things that have come out very, very soon, or this could even just be a possible cosmetic, or it could be a hint to a brand new dungeon coming very, very soon. I know that a lot of people were disappointed with this last dungeon. I don't know why. It was probably one of the most well done dungeons that I've seen in a while. We have a mage and warrior back on par with each other in damage. Like, I am so lucky that they have been on par. Because for a quite a while, Mage was superior, we had a Warrior that was superior at some point, we've had Mage, and now it's basically on balance. A lot of people are saying that it's kind of biased, but I have tested out the sets for like the Max Warrior and the Max Mage, and they actually do very, very similar damage. Yes, Warriors have a bit more range, and obviously, um, Mages don't. <laughs> it depends on the spell that you want to use, but that is all good. As I said, today, leak time, leak time, leak time. I honestly thought that the recent Halloween update that just came out would actually include this leak and I was really really upset knowing that the update was coming and I hadn't made a video on this yet because I've just been so behind on what I want to put up. I haven't even put up my weapons and my armors yet. I thought I'd give you guys the leak first because leaks are the best and I don't even know if people have made a video on this yet. So on the screen right now is a tweet from Blacksmith and he goes, You thought we were done? Keep your guard up at VCaffy, hashtag Roblox, hashtag Roblox Dev, and hashtag Dungeon Quest. And what do we see? We see a GIF. Well, <clears throat> you guys didn't see a GIF. I see a GIF. If I can put the GIF on the screen, I will put the GIF on the screen. But we see a person holding a weapon and this weapon is a long stick with a giant gear on the end which is partially broken and we see some cords and hanging on the bottom to it as well as a lightning or something bursting through at the very top of the gear with lightning strikes all around it. Does this mean we're going to have something to do with time? Is it just a reference to steampunk sewers? Is it going to be a cosmetic? Is it a new dungeon theme? Are we going to get something in the future that could possibly obtain this? I have no idea. As you guys know, we have a giant Excalibur quest right now to get the Excalibur weapon. We do not know if it's a weapon or if it's going to be a cosmetic or anything like that, but there is an entire quest you can go and check out on my channel. I've done parts one and two. I unfortunately still have not got the blue rune yet because I only have one cosmetic. I will reiterate right now, the nine limited time Halloween cosmetics do not count towards the blue rune and the Excalibur quest. They do not do that at all, unfortunately, but that is all good because that just means you guys get to play a lot more and get all of these things. So, this weapon on the screen, oh my goodness, it looks like time is breaking apart at the seams with whatever this lightning is by the looks of it. That is just my take on it personally. So if we get a time related dungeon or a time related spell, imagine having a like a one time usage spell that could actually revert a certain amount of time inside of the dungeon. That would be so overpowered but a really amazing spell. And imagine it being a legendary spell. We actually have 
um, some legendary spell leaks as well, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm excited to present you guys with those as well today because as you guys may not have noticed, the missing spell from the leaks that we did last time, we had a spell, which is this one on the screen right now. This spell right here, the one that looks like All Might doing a to smash. We didn't get that in the new update at all. But where is it? What has happened to it? What could have happened to this one spell? It was apparently a legendary spell by means of what we have seen by screenshots from people. It has been faked in actual Dungeon Quest at the moment. You will see players saying that they have obtained this spell when in fact they haven't. No, 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 they have not. Don't believe them. It's not in the game yet, confirmed by the development team. Because we got something more in mind for that right now. And I'm super duper excited for it because who wouldn't want a brand new spell? So... As you guys see on the screen right now, we're gonna give you we're giving you a screenshot of someone's inventory. This is a faked screenshot, but the spell is real. So we have a confirmed legendary spell coming in very, very soon called Vengeful Rebirth. This is what makes me believe that something else is going to be happening very soon within Dungeon Quest, either an event or an actual new dungeon itself, having to do with something with time or something with lightning or stuff like that. Because Ventral Rebirth is a spell that is a legendary class and requires you to be level 126 to equip it and sells for a lot of money, but I think that may be photoshopped. I'm not entirely sure. But the actual spell description is not, and it rapidly shoots three circles forward, damaging all enemies with enemies within a range and scales with spell power and physical power. It looks like this may be the first hybrid spell that we are going to be getting. Obviously, you can get um hybrid spells kind of, I guess, kind of, but I did ask Vinny if this was in the game or if it was real, and he said it was not in the game at this point in time, but this just makes me believe that it is going to be the spell that we looked at earlier, because, hello, look at the, look at the image. And then you look at the spell, and that's exactly what this spell was doing, and hopefully it actually does give you a mage boost and a warrior boost. But just think, back in that spell like video, they didn't test it on the dummies, so you couldn't see what damage it did, and you didn't see any item in his hand. So he was very, very careful to hide all the information from the spell that we got to see, but... We have a new weapon, we have a new spell. It looks like there could actually be two legendary spells coming out, but we've only heard about one for now, unfortunately. And as soon as we hear about another one, I will be updating you. Because who doesn't want to be updated on the brand new leaks and the brand new spells? As I said, I hope we're getting a new update very, very soon. I know Vinny has been staying up super late every single night, so that usually means that Vinny is developing or doing something along those lines. And he's been hiding in his little development cave because... He hasn't been active on the Discord. <laughs> Usually, when we have an update, he stays up very, very late, and then he will start lurking around the Discord, unfortunately. He hasn't been lurking yet, so we will just see how we go. But over on the Dungeon Quest Discord, we actually open up staff applications for Discord moderators. If you didn't know that already, you've been living under a rock because... The Dungeon Quest Discord is live. <laughs> Literally, the community there is so amazing. And I am actually running the applications team. So if you guys want to actually apply to be a staff member over on Dungeon Quest, go over to the announcement chat over there and fill out the application. Obviously, we are only going to be accepting people that are 16 plus. Obviously, as it is a volunteer position, we need to make sure you're mature. And there's just a lot of prerequisites that you will have to meet to be able to move on to the next stage. Because this time we have three different like, phases for you to go through. You have the initial application process. Process. You will have a background check on your progress and everything inside of the server. If you pass those two, you'll be heading over to an interview phase. And then from there, you go into obviously being a trainee moderator, which is absolutely crazy. And we've actually already accepted one brand new trainee moderator. We have another two in the interview phase and one returning mod for all of those that actually care on all of the Discord gossip for you guys. So yeah, one last look at this amazing new weapon going to be happening. What do you guys think this weapon suggests? Do you guys think it looks like we're going to be getting something to do with either an extension onto steampunk sewers do you guys think we're gonna be getting a new dungeon do you think it has something to do with time because usually gears and time and things like that work are we getting 
Are we going to be getting something elemental? I don't even know. And I'm really excited to see. Do you guys think this is just a cosmetic? Do you think it's a weapon? Leave your thoughts and theories down in the comment sections below because I love to read them all and it may actually change Vinny's mind on any of the above said things, I guess. Above said things, previous said things. <laughs> anyway, if you guys liked today's little mini video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Also, Hit the notification bell if you're being notified every single time I post a video or start a stream. Only 12% of you actually get notified every single time I post a video, unfortunately, due to YouTube being the worst as it could be right now. I don't even know if you guys are actually listening to this right now or watching it because who knows if my notifications actually went out. So if my notifications went out, hashtag notification squad down in the comments below if you're still listening at the end of this, I guess. If I, do people stay around this long? I have no idea. But other than that, thank you so much to the people on the screen right now for being my current channel members. You guys are amazing. And if you want to learn how to become a channel member, just click the join button either down below or on my main channel page. And other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you guys may be in the world. And I will see you guys in the next video or streams. Bye, guys.